Dolce & Gabbana, the fashion house from 1985, or founded in 1985, has some amazing fragrances. All the way from the first one in 1992, simply Dolce & Gabbana, to today in 2021, with its light blue forever. The designer house has given us so many memorable fragrances created by master perfumers. Olivier Polge, Nathalie Larson, Olivier Cresp, Alberto Morias, Christina Nagel, all of them and many, many more have worked on Dolce & Gabbana's collection of fragrances. The latest one that debuted in 2021 is from the Dolce & Gabbana uh, Pour Online. It is light blue forever. If you're interested in that fragrance, stay tuned for more. Hello and welcome. I'm Peter from Centrail. And on this channel, we explore fragrances from all around the world. So if you're into fragrances or you just want to smell great, consider subscribing, love, like, share, give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first time, welcome. And if you're back, it's good to see you again. But let's not wait any longer and get right into the new fragrance by Dolce & Gabbana. Most of us remember the light blue Owen Tents. It is a Alberto Moria stunner with grapefruit, juniper, musk, amber, and there is some salt, 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 and all that is followed by a delicious mandarin scent. Really gorgeous summer fragrance, aquatic, ozonic, I mean, just incredible for the summer. Now in 2021, or this year, they came out with a new fragrance, Dolce & Gabbana did, and it is light blue, and it is called Forever. Now I bought a bottle of Forever because I wanted to try it out. I tried it, or when I first got a whiff of it, I said, I gotta have a bottle of this because it's a very unique and beautiful fragrance. On this one, we have a new perfumer. I hope I don't uh, mess this name up. It is Shamala Maison Dieu. Uh, she's also a wonderful perfumer and she's worked with brands like Diesel, Dolce & Gabbana. She's worked with Rojas, Mugler, and many, many others. But why don't we give this one a spray and then I'll let you look at the bottle while I talk about what I think about it a little. Nice, beautiful sprayer. Such a good one. In light blue forever, there's also a note of grapefruit right at the top. Much like there's some grapefruit in the Owen Tents. However, the grapefruit in this one is dialed up. When I first spray this one, all I get is grapefruit. Now you're wondering, why would you wanna smell like a fresh cut fruit? And that's where it gets really interesting. This fragrance right here smells like you have your nose right on a freshly cut grapefruit. It does not smell synthetic whatsoever. And in the, in the summertime, that is super refreshing. It is a sensation that I think is really amazing in the summer to walk up on something that is kind of tart and fresh all at the same time. But there's also a softness in this fragrance because there is some violet leaf in the background which really kind of softened the fragrance after the first few minutes. So you have the tartness and you have the softness of the violet leaf. It's a beautiful dance of an elegant fragrance between violet and grapefruit. Soft, oceanic, and tart. Blue Forever has a really nice dry down. You have some vetiver, you have some musk, and you have some patchouli. I mean, that's not really unique, but what, what is special about this fragrance is that you have the tartness of the grapefruit and the softness of the, of the violet, and it's always sort of around you like the warm summer wind. And with all summer fragrances, like I said earlier, you know, four to six hours is probably all you're gonna get out of this one. I wore this today and uh, it's been, we're at the eight hour mark and it's, it's not even at a skin scent at this point. You can, you can see, you can smell that there was something there, but you're definitely going to have to reapply it if you're gonna go out in the evenings. Personally, I really enjoy wearing light blue forever. The realistic grapefruit in this one is a warm welcome in the high heat. And the fragrance never gets overwhelming. It's never too much. It's a really wonderful fragrance to wear in the summer. I think it's a well done addition to the light blue line from Dolce & Gabbana. 
I'll be in Florida next week, the entire week, taking the uh, family down for a summer vacation before everybody resumes you know, life as usual. I will be taking this one down to Florida with me. I'll be really close to Miami on the beach and then I will give it a good try and see how it does. Now let me know in the comments what kind of summer fragrances you would wear if you were going on a beach vacation or somewhere where it's hot. I'd love to hear from you. But until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself always smell nice and I will talk to you soon. Central, out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.